All right guys, so I think I <laughs> finished a quick workout at Gold's Gym right there behind the tree, and I didn't have much time today. Wish I had more, but I don't. Carbon fiber on these sunglasses, by the way. So I'm gonna head on the road now. We got a long way to go. I cannot forget about that dang protein bar. Very long way to go. About to turn the air on here for the first time. Not usually like me to do this, man. I'm always put the windows down. Well, because the sun's not out, I guess I'll turn it on. 70 degrees, feels good. Baby girl, what you doing with your man? I just pop the girl, what you doing with your man? I just pop the sand, fifty thousand in your. Some guys that design the highways here, you guys could probably agree that this is the worst designed air. Like I've mentioned this before and I'm driving this way more and more often and I probably will in the future. This is the worst designed highway ever. This main highway here goes to the toll road and no one's going that way and then you got people hopping on from a different highway here trying to go to the same exit. Look at this. There's no other place in this area that's like this. Music video helps out to you on Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern. So make sure you go check it out. And of course, <laughs> Look at all these trucks, man. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, man. Oh, oh my gosh, these tires are heavy as shust. Oh my gosh, even breaking them, oh! All right guys, so I can tell right now that I'm sitting higher off of the ground too, and honestly, the ride is so much smoother now, holy cow. Anyways, I didn't get a really that good of a chance to actually look at the truck. They, are act they actually closed, they pulled it around, I just hopped in and left, I didn't really look, but I'm telling you, man, it looks a lot better, so that's awesome. So let's drive back and then I'll do a good reveal and just get a good look around of the truck. I actually didn't get a chance, like I said, to actually look at it myself. So it's going to be more of a, a first, on, first on look at it for both of us. Unfortunately, one of the things they weren't able to do was relearn the TPMS. And so I still have an actual error right now, but that's whatever. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with that either by... Well, I know I can't do it myself. I was researching it online. There's no way for me to just learn it myself. They don't do that after, I think after 2012. So I'm gonna have to just go to a shop and see if their tool will work. They said it's probably the biggest issue they ever have. A lot of people run into that. So I think I'll go to the place that I've been to before to get the other tires on and maybe they'll be able to figure it out. It's also would be a lot closer really heavy tires and the truck is sitting higher now this is awesome man i always wanted to be able to sit higher again in this truck because i used to have bigger tires on this truck before those small ones before those small ones i had bigger ones so now we're back to some pretty big tires 
Oh man, I remember this feeling, man. Having to accelerate more to get going and everything. Bigger tires. And then the braking here too. I gotta really brake these tires. But man, I love them. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I have to really put the pedal down. Any time now, I'm trying, just trying to get to 55. There we go, finally got to 55. These tires, man, Toyo, Toyo Rough Country tires, Rough Terrain tires, sorry. So we're off the bat, I'm already noticing ride quality is definitely better on the highway as well. Definitely not feeling those bumps as much, and I honestly, it's a lot smoother, but it kind of makes sense, I guess, those, those tires over there, the, the tread is just so low now. About to get a little, got to, oh. Well, RIP gas mileage. So I was going to get a shirt, but the problem is though, is that they have the phone number on it. So I'm not trying to, you know, put that number out there on the camera and everything. It's on the front. So that's why I opted to not get one. Something I haven't done in a while. I just cracked open our venom. Tastes pretty good compared to all I've been always just drinking that your fruit juice drink with the caffeine in it. So now that I think about it, this is honestly the biggest tire size that I've ever driven on any of my personal trucks. Now I've driven trucks with you know 35s, 36s, even actually 38s, believe it or not. It was pretty cool. But I've never driven on one of my trucks on a truck that I've owned never driven with a tire size this big 33 12 and a half I used to have 30 I used to have 33s before but they were about 10 8 or something right around there that these are actually the widest I've ever had Alright guys, so another thing that I'm noticing is that I'm going to have to constantly be on the acceleration and I'm also noticing that it never goes into cylinder deactivation mode and four cylinders. I mean I have to go, I have to be going down a pretty steep grade but I'm basically in V8 mode all the time now. Gas mileage definitely took a hit, I barely ever see 20 and it's just about 19 a lot of the time and, and 16 so that's about my average anyway. It's probably going to be about 16 now but kind of sucks man. Lost my Prius, lost my Prius MPGs. ready for this let me close the door real quick boom yes oh my gosh that looks so good holy cow look at that oh my gosh that is nice 33 12 5 radius of an 18 33 12 5 18 inch rims look at this truck man that looks so much better than before look at that Oh my gosh, that looks so much more aggressive now. This truck was well overdue for new tires, and I can't believe it. That looks so much better. Holy cow, look how much tread is on these. I, I don't know the last time that I've ever put new tread tires on my truck. I don't think I've ever put new tread tires on my truck, to be honest. I've always just bought and used tires. And I told you, like I said, it's definitely, definitely well overdue for new tires. And this truck after all I've put it through definitely deserves some new tires and I just can't remember how long I've had those tires just sitting in my garage having to walk around them so many different times the smell of the rubber even went away because they were just sitting there for so long all the dust collecting and they're finally now on the truck and it looks so good oh my goodness there's a thumbnail oh it's just so right and back here I decided to keep the regular tires. I might try to sell them. Probably won't sell, but who knows? If you're interested, Fierce Altitude Mud Terrain tires for sale. And then we also got the spare hooked up. We've got the spare right there on a new rim. So that's my rim, but just new. 
and it's on the exact same so full size spare tire back here as well perfect so let me turn it all the way let's see if these rub zero offset rims total of five inches of lift that's all the way to the left oh my gosh that is so close <laughs> look how close that is all right so it doesn't rub there was no trimming needed it doesn't rub at all going that way oh my gosh that is so close now let's try turning it to the right see if that does anything all right that's all the way to the right nope not as bad on this side look at that but that is so close i mean if i'm turning all the way and i go over a bump it's definitely gonna hit but i mean man i definitely dodged a bullet on that one zero offset five inches no trimming needed there you go man tires are finally on truck really needed it of course i still need to put that fog light in i do have that in the back of the truck so i will probably get to that tomorrow or something but damn this honestly looks so much better than before I would have done 35s, but I don't have the right gearing, so 33s will work, and obviously if I put 35s on, they would rub. So, might go with a bigger lift, you know? I guess I'm going to head home now. A lot of stuff did come in the mail, so we got a lot of stuff going on each and every day. So, I'm going to unload these tires, of course, and probably try to sell them. Like I said, it's probably going to take a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the new tires.